why is my life so hard? You may wake up and go, oh, my life is so hard. And why is that? Why do you think? No doubt you've read a lot of books and self-help things. But bear with me while I tell you about a research that was done by some interesting psychologists. And if I could think of who they were, I'd have that link below. If anybody knows where to find this, please put it in the memo line because I'm curious. But it was about a study that was done on human engagement. And it was a group of people, say, at a football game, and they were told to watch the, the player with the red flag. And he had red flag in his pants, or so, it was something like that. And so they were supposed to watch him. And then, in the middle of the game, a clown ran across the field at the 50-yard line. And the game continued. By the end of the game, the audience was asked, or the spectators were asked, did anybody see anything different? And a couple people said, oh yeah, there was a clown that ran across the field. I was really surprised. But most people said, we never saw anything different. We were looking at the red flag. And then there's another article that was about color and a group of people who had like 50 names for blue. Like the Inuits have a hundred names for snow. And they were given a circle with different discs of different shades of blue with one green in it. And after the study, the people were asked, the participants were asked, did you see a different color? And they said no, because they had no word for green. All their, their biggest perception was around blue. And that brings us back to why is my life so hard? I want you to think about how you talk to yourself. Do you wake up in the morning and go, oh, it's Monday, another day. Get in your car and go, oh, the traffic's going to be horrible. And it is. And then you get to work and you go, I'll never find a parking space. I never do. And you don't. You end up walking forever, so you're late for work. But what if you just looked at things just slightly differently today. From now until the end of the day, look for the good. Yes, the bad's still gonna be there, but you're gonna focus on the good. The person who smiles at you, the person who holds the elevator for you, the person who's early and excited to see you or the phone call that you've been trying to get through to finally goes through. And celebrate that. Yes, the other stuff will be there, but if you're focusing on the good, the bad falls by the wayside. Give it a go. Let me know how it goes for you. You have nothing to lose but a bad day. So I'm curious what you find out about your beautiful life and your blissful journey. Post below, let me know what, what happens. And if you're curious about how I can support you in building the beautiful life that you want, just let me know. We'll talk and discover your goals and go from there, if it fits. Best to you for now. Have a great day. Bye.